Lately, I've been seeing a ton of different YouTube videos pop up that say things like YouTube shorts are completely worthless, or the views and subscribers that you get from shorts aren't gonna convert to long form content, or that YouTube shorts ruin your YouTube channel. And I wanna explore in this video whether or not that's actually the case because I see so many different conflicting things out there. For example, one of the biggest creators on YouTube right now is literally leveraging YouTube shorts in order to get over 100 million views every single time he uploads a long form video. And on top of that, I just helped this creator right here gain hundreds of thousands of followers with YouTube shorts and then he started creating long form content and guess what happened? The views he got on long form skyrocketed and he was able to make a ton of money from it. So which one is true? Is YouTube shorts gonna destroy your YouTube channel or could this be the next opportunity that can take your channel to the next level or help you get started on YouTube? But I will warn you, if you mess up any of the three things that I'm about to share with you, then YouTube Shorts could actually end up destroying your channel. The first thing that we need to explore is what Mr. Beast is doing. So in order to really call this out, I wanted to come over to Mr. Beast's social blade so that you can see that once he started implementing YouTube shorts around here, ever since then, his views have absolutely skyrocketed. And to show you exactly what he's doing here, we need to come over to his YouTube channel. Because if we look at his channel, he's literally getting 120 million views, 136 million, 111 million, 126 million. And he's been getting over 100 million views on almost every single upload for the last few months. And the way that he's doing this is by leveraging YouTube shorts. Now, if we come into his shorts, literally every single one of his shorts links out to his latest long form video. Now what is happening when he does this is YouTube is then seeding his long form video with all of his viewers from his shorts content. What this does is skyrockets the amount of views that he gets on those long form pieces of content in a short period of time and it allows the YouTube algorithm to actually understand who they should be showing his content to. Because if you don't know how YouTube works, when you upload a long form piece of content to YouTube, YouTube is gonna try to determine who they should show your piece of content to. But sometimes this takes a day or two, or it could even take up to a week, which is probably what you're experiencing if you're not getting the views that you want on your long form content. In which case, you just need to be patient, or you can leverage YouTube Shorts and do what Mr. Beast is doing, where he is literally changing the related video on every single short that he has to his latest long form piece of content every time he uploads that long form video, and boom, this helps YouTube seed which audience is going to be interested in that long form piece of content way quicker, which is going to skyrocket the amount of reach that you get if you made a good long form video. Or you could do a different thing, which is going to allow you to get even more views on your latest long form video. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to go quick on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. So please smash that subscribe button so you never miss another one of my videos. Now back to the point that I was making. What you need to make sure that you're doing is I would upload a long form piece of content and then for the next three or four days after that, I wouldn't upload another long form piece of content, but instead I would create shorts about that same exact topic and then use the related video in those shorts to drive back to that long form piece of content. The reason you wanna do this is because you wanna be able to establish the connection on YouTube between your shorts content and your long form content, because if you don't establish that connection, then yes, there might be a disconnect between the two, but once you get those two to start working together, it's going to skyrocket the amount of reach that you're getting on your long form content. In fact, I myself have been able to do this same exact thing with my long form and short form content because more than 50% of the shorts that I've uploaded have over 100,000 views. And the way that I've been able to do this is by focusing my shorts content on things that people are gonna be interested within my niche and also things that people are gonna be searching for. Because if you're not trying to rank for search when it comes to shorts right now, you're making one of the biggest mistakes that you could ever make because it is easier to rank for search right now than it ever has been so far as you're creating short form content. And what you can do is create both short form content and long form content that's going to try to rank for search and you take all those views that you get on shorts and divert them over to that long form piece of content and then guess what ends up happening? YouTube just keeps recommending your content out to more people and this is how you can get more views from browse features and from suggested content on your long form videos. Now, in order to make ranking for search on YouTube incredibly easy, I would strongly recommend that you use a tool like vidIQ. In fact, I would have never gained over 680,000 subscribers had I not used vidIQ because then I would have never ranked for search because vidIQ essentially has a few different features that are gonna make it way easier for you to rank. For example, once you log into vidIQ, you can find the top search terms for your specific channel. And if you click on one of these, guess what ends up happening? You end up getting related keywords, which are gonna be other keywords that you should try to rank for on search. And on top of that, they make it incredibly easy to know what title to use or what thumbnail to use, because if you scroll down here, it literally shows you all the other videos that are doing well. And all you have to do is make a better video than these, and your 
video is also going to trend for this exact search. On top of that, you can come up here and go under ideation. And what this is going to do is it's going to scan your YouTube channel and it's going to give you a ton of different ideas. For example, it'll give you topic ideas based on from your top videos or what's trending within your niche or what's working for your competitors. And finally, from what your audience is actually asking for, it is literally going to go through your comments and tell you exactly what type of content you should be creating based off of what your audience is saying. And I wouldn't take into consideration these thumbnails that are used, but if you take these topics right here, this can be a great way for you to figure out exactly what you should be posting about both on YouTube shorts and long form content so that you can create that connection between the two so that you could get more views with YouTube shorts. Now, if you don't already have it IQ, I would strongly suggest you go to the pinned comment below and register right now because you can get started today with an exclusive deal for just $1 for the next 30 days. $1 can literally be the difference between you blowing up on YouTube in the next 30 days or you failing to blow up because if you're not ranking for search right now with shorts or with your long form content, you're making a massive mistake and you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. And if your competitors rank for search, well, guess what? They're going to be getting views 24 seven that should be your views, but you didn't get them because you were too lazy to sign up for video. Thank you. And now for the last and most important part of this video, which is exactly what you need to do if you want to turn the views and subscribers that you're getting from shorts into views and subscribers on your long form content, exactly how I helped this creator do it because they've literally been able to create a full time living simply off of YouTube, starting with YouTube shorts, which I know is probably exactly what you want to do. Okay, so the way that Dean has actually been able to do this is he started off only uploading shorts content. If we look at his shorts content, he has a bunch of different videos out there that have got tens of thousands of views. If I come under his most popular videos, he is getting millions of views. But what he is doing right is making note of what works with his short form content. And then he's converting that into long form content. For example, one of his most viewed videos on shorts is Let's Try Joe Obli, which I don't know what that is, but I think it's like the KFC of the Philippines. And if we come to his long form content, look at his most popular, guess what it is? It's US versus Philippines McDonald's. It's a mukbang. It's also, he tried the whole menu at Joe B. And exactly what he's doing here is he's creating long form content on on these same exact topics that did well on his short form content to make it really easy for YouTube to understand that there should be a connection between the two of them. And if you're struggling to get views with YouTube shorts or with long form content right now, or more importantly, transferring those two audiences together, it's probably because you're messing this up. This creator right here is getting tons of views on their shorts. Most popular shorts getting millions of views. But if I come over to their long form content, they're not getting anywhere near. And this is exactly why. What I eat in a week realistic, if I come over to their popular videos on YouTube shorts, I bet it has absolutely nothing to do with that. And it doesn't. They have handstand content, check this place out, wait for it, my worst fails. Had they created a long form video on those same topics, I bet that they would get a lot more views, but they're not. And that's exactly why they're not getting the views that they want through long form content. Or they could be struggling to grow on YouTube because nobody's actually giving them real feedback or telling them what titles to use or what kind of content to create or how they could actually create their content better. And since you're still watching this video, I personally want to do that for you. In fact, I want to help you grow on YouTube in the next 30 days, guaranteed. If that sounds interesting, I strongly suggest you go to the description below and look at the mentorship programs that I have either for long form content or for shorts content because I personally want to look at your channel, tell you everything that I would do differently to guarantee that you could grow quicker. If that sounds interesting, go to that description below, register right now, or I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you exactly how the YouTube algorithm works.